Boom. Um, so these are career related questions. Oh wait, we didn't talk about the bench. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, bench. let's talk about the bench. <laughs> well, we put that with technique because I think yeah. that's a part of your technique. Kinda. So a lot of people are really curious about your bench. So can yeah. I answer it? He just does it for attention. Yeah, you gotta get noticed somehow, so he just does it for attention for sure. Well, you, you told me years ago that yeah. you just feel like you're more at the piano. He's a, yeah. he's a great pianist. You feel like you're at the piano, you feel like you hit more notes that way, yeah, right? I, I grew up as a pianist, so uh, it's just comfortable for me, but yeah. the first time I really actually did it, Seriously, was when I was practicing the, the the Goldberg variations, which is like an hour long. Yeah, yeah, and that's in tempo. Yeah, so slow <laughs> practice. It's two hours, and my, my knees got tired. And at the time, at the Boston Conservatory, yeah, the organ practice room was right next to the organ the practice organ room. Organ practice room. So, I remember, and you just yeah. You know. I looked at the organ bench and I'm like, <laughs> hmm, I could do All that. Right. <laughs> I've definitely done that. I've been practicing for long. Times and just sat down. Yeah. I've never gone so far as to like say, "Oh, this is <laughs> what I'll implement." You know. I mean, but it, I don't know. For me, the first time I did it, like I sat down, I played immediately. I thought, "This is right. Yeah. This is what I've been missing for the past, you know, ten years." Yeah, yeah. And play. Oh, uh, not so. Uh, actually, ten years. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, it just felt really right, and then, of course, there are some mechanics that mechanics that I had to work through later, like. Yeah. And the Goldbergs, I didn't really have to move much, but in like Merlin, I probably have to slide up and down a little bit. Yeah. But the cool thing, or the key thing about why it works, I think it's because how centered I feel, again, mm. back to the technique, how centered I feel then, how the control is, became all in the gut and then yeah. spreading all through yeah. the tip of my fingers. Sure. And just, there's no tension because, you know, the whatever tension it is, it's in the, the seated position. So right. I, I feel completely flexible and completely yeah, yeah. able to control whatever it is that's needed. Yeah. Without any unnecessary motions or unnecessary ups and downs. Yeah. And it's centered also in the way of horizontally. I know where the notes are. I mean, I still miss a lot of notes, but I think less than I used to. Yeah. Is with the bench. I sit playing snare drum, and I, yeah. I can definitely relate to that. Like of course. seated, you know, I don't know, center of gravity yeah. is there. Yeah. Like in, it's like timpani playing. Like I just always want to sit, yeah. you know. So, I mean, because you see a lot of European orchestral players, they sit they most sit. of the time. Yeah, it just helps. Of more. course, it's more awkward on the marimba, but mm. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it for someone that's shorter. Sure. Yeah, but I have pretty long arms, so I yeah. get around fine if I'm C tone. I can reach you know low C to high C. Sure, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, Would you go so far as like, have you ever run into someone who plays a certain way and, and you want to say like, let me try sitting, try my bench technique? Not yet. You haven't yet. Yeah. Yeah. There are <laughs> there are a couple people that I'd like to suggest it to. Yeah. Especially like the taller people, it's just. You know, harder to for higher instruments to come by, so they tend to slouch and do more. Yeah, of these. and it just promotes good posture. Yeah, it's just yeah. A big part of like sitting down is you, know, you kind of have to sit up straight and right. the chest open, and then as soon as the chest opens up, the sound opened up. Yeah, that's one big thing I've been finding. And chest your shoulders elbow, down and yeah, shoulders down, chest open up, elbows loose, sound open up. Yeah. I mean, I still do this. I mean, I'm the worst offender of it myself, <laughs> but ideally. But you also, like, you, you're sitting, and let's say, you know, your waist is here, and when you, right. instead of slouching over, you kind of that's stay true. straight and like, lean over. That's the piano thing. I the piano was, thing, you know, yeah. My teacher told me to put more weight on it, but put your entire weight on it. Yeah. So, and then just sink in. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Also, accenter technique, I think that's. Oh yeah, I think so. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, I, uh, I need work. That was bench. Um, there was one more bench one uh, right here. Um, oh, bench one. Uh, Will again asks. I'm um, curious about the bench myself. I've recently started raising the marimba. Oh, the marimba uh, height. Height. Yeah, he asked yeah. about the height. Um, Let's talk about that. Yeah, sure. I personally, I 
prefer to keep the marimba a little bit higher, maybe yeah. not this high, but you know, pretty much at a writing level. So again, I feel relaxed and it's either, I find it's rather either like on a highish level mm. or on a really low end. Yeah. So it all just boils down to how relaxed your shoulders are at your yeah. playing position, like where your stick is hitting, con making contact. Sure. So in the middle level is when people started and which is where I find a lot of people playing it. It's in somewhere in the awkward, awkward middle, middle. <laughs> where your yeah, where your hand doesn't yeah. quite break flat down, yeah. or your elbow dips below, or yeah, yeah, somewhere in between. Man, hmm. I, don't, I remember Jack Van Geem. Yeah. When he plays snare drum, it's tilted out outwards. Outward, yeah. And then his hand is completely relaxed, and it's on a fairly low level, but yeah. that com looks completely natural. Just whatever is natural. Yeah, because it's like shoulder, arm, stick, yep. Yep. drum. It's completely yeah, so natural. it's like the drum doesn't fight the, yeah. the natural angle. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. So. And he's wookie tall. He's really tall. Yeah. yeah, you guys are both pretty tall. I mean, he's really tall. He's tall. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What What else? Um, uh, what do we have? Instrument height. Do you have anything? To oh, add there? Um, I don't know. I like to feel like snare drum. I, yeah. I feel like they're so similar. I feel like this technique, which we talked about yesterday, and like some of the more choppy things, um, you just want to utilize uh, that natural, yeah. simple, just set it down where it feels natural. I guess your yeah. instrument is lower than mine. I think it's lower, yeah. yeah. You, you grew up more as a drummer. Yeah, more as a I drummer. I grew up as a pianist. Yeah. So I, this is where I feel comfortable. So I'm cool in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a dork. A dork, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like, yeah, the snare drum when you're playing drum set is, is here, yeah. and the snare drum when you're playing concert snare sense. is there, and I feel like, yeah, the marimba just, just, just goes in its place, sort of. Just whatever it yeah. needs to be natural and carefully thought out, so the shoulder, again, I can't stress enough, shoulder and chest, just yeah. whatever is makes you feel comfortable doing this naturally. Yeah, and again, like, listen to your body, you know, like, wh whatever it says, you know, if it's it's too high, you know it's too high if you're going like this to come up to it, <laughs> obviously, you know, it's like, no, just whatever your body, like, falls into, right. yeah. And my guideline is around where belly button is. That's what I say, too, yeah. Belly button, belt loop, yeah. yeah. I have, so to say, I have to say, you have to say a belt loop when you're talking belt to the loop. students because you don't want to talk about body parts with them. They get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you get in trouble with them. Uh, what, what's next? Uh